Okay, so this is a tier list. If you saw the Bodvar video, you know that I was gonna do a tier list. I don't know when it's gonna come out, probably like Friday. When is or summers? When is summers? Summers? Then? Yeah. Like well, not summers, right? When is the Wednesday? No, no, when is the Wednesday? The end of this summers? week? This week. End of this week? Yeah. Friday. Wait, what? Wait, is this Friday? Yeah. Oh, those guys, those guys are doomed. Holy shit. Okay. So this is tier list for Valencia plus Summers because Summers has updated for... There's no patch Summers. Well, there's a patch preview out, but in that patch preview is only Red Raptor changes. They only uh, nerf Red Raptor. And that was just to legalize him uh, for the tournament. So They actually didn't nerf him. Yeah, that's, I know. I, I know. I read the patch too, bro. They didn't yeah, do that's, anything. That's what I'm saying. So. I, yeah, I don't know. It was a good patch. <coughs> They didn't do anything. Yeah, it was a good patch. <laughs> made, made in the office. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I don't want this to be too long. That's a minute for the intro. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make it. And usually I, I the tier list videos are like 20 minutes long and we talk the entire time. But I'm just going to make it. Uh, on YouTube, you're just going to see this as fast-forwarded, speed through. And then at the very end, after everything is placed, I'm going to explain it. So yeah, this is all going to be like on four times speed, and uh, honestly, I might just straight up start cutting. I'm not, actually I'm not gonna do four times speed because all you'll hear is me squeaking really loud because it's gonna be four times speed. So I'm just gonna cut it uh, to when interesting stuff like is said. Like after I make a tier and I'm finished with it, I'll cut back. So you're about to see the first cut for SS. All right. More is it? Yeah. Is there like more? Is it one ones only? Uh, is ones only? Is there another character no that way. could be up here? There's no, there's nothing that's like outward, like yeah, there's nothing too crazy weird. Can, like think of anything like I, like you look at it and you're just like, holy shit, that's Artemis level, like or Kaya level, like you just have to like you like you're going to see Impala play Kaya in top eight, and like half the teams are running some variation of Kaya, like someone has a pocket Kaya or they're just playing Kaya, like. No, yeah, I don't think so. What about Vector? I don't think Vector is up there because Vector, Vector... he's he just got good sig. Okay, he doesn't have that good sigs. His both sigs are fine. is borderline, bro. Who is the Wu Shang player in ones right now besides Fiend? I understand yeah, that, so, like, but yeah, no one's playing. Like, I put him like viable. No, he's not even like. But his gauntlet, his gauntlets. Or yeah, no one's really playing gauntlets. Yeah, gauntlet. I don't think any gauntlet character can be SS. I don't think gauntlets are good ones. I think they're just like okay. I think like, it would have to be like. Nah, uh, yeah, I think that's it. There's nothing that's like as crazy. Okay. Uh... Okay, I'd say okay. So yeah, like Diana, Lucian. I think a series nah, also. Yeah, up yeah. To... No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm like just gonna end it because I'm, I'm, I have to recut the video here. So like I already click play on it again, right? So I'm trying to think oh. if there's anything here for like five. Like, is there a top five that's all like win the tournament tier? And I don't Let's think go. so. I think. I think these four are it. I think Tesca is like also like we put him in viable to win, but like like these guys like you lock this in, you're getting like you're getting like a, a win handed to you if you don't, bro. Like every time I we talk to Boomy, we literally go, yo, how'd you only get fifth? You're playing you're playing unnerfed Thea, bro. Like it's like like the, the that <laughs> level of character where if they're not winning, you're like asking them questions like, yo, are you okay? Like do your hands work? And I'm trying to think of. If there's anything else like that in the game right now and i actually don't think like these four characters i i see them and i'm genuinely like wow i don't think i have that with anyone else right now in the game so i think i'm gonna put it there yeah is lucian black he's french uh but yeah so uh for explanation ss right now is rax rax is the best character in the game because lance is the best weapon blasters are really solid if you can play them they look good uh like you because you for example uh if people are saying lucian is the best character in ss he's playing it's it's blasters and it's guitars and you're playing both of them so there's no reason to say like vrax has blasters or something right so uh you'll just have lucian on this orion's ss i actually agree with that i don't know if i i don't know if maybe i can, I can see that actually yeah okay so yeah the, if you, uh, if you, if you put that there yeah yeah i think this is fine i think we can cut it off here like these two are like brothers and sisters anyway Spears top one yeah Spears like def I don't I wouldn't say top one I say I think Lance is just so broken Lance is like easily top one Lance is Lance is not even like comparable to any any other weapon in the game right now so I'd say I'd say uh 
the fact that he has the this character has the best lance by far not all them stats stats spread is like funny sigs aren't like too broken and um yeah he has axe and one so it's it's mainly just axe yeah yeah it's it's mainly axe him having axe is like the weakest point but lord vax doesn't have axe for example and his sigs are better orion doesn't have axe his sigs are better artemis doesn't have axe his sigs are better so yeah the that, that's why vax is the number one vax has the best lance in the game you play lance only you'll have a great time this character is second because she also has lance she doesn't have nine dex lance so it's like worse than his lance uh her sigs are also broken though so it's fine uh the boots sigs i don't think boots are broken anymore i think they're annoying to play i don't think they're fun to play against but i don't think they're broken i don't think they're like i don't think they're broken. you you like i don't think they're broken they're just you're like there's annoying yeah. they're new they're still relatively they remind, you're annoying. they remind me of like guitars and the way it yeah. feels to play against it yeah it's like you have to like you, it's hard to take initiative against them. Yeah. I think Vector is really close to SS, but I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, I think his Lance Sigs aren't good besides N-Sig. And I think N-Sig is really useful, but not useful enough to make him SS. And his Bow Sigs are really good, so I put him like at the top of Viable. I think Orion... Yeah, he, he'd be, he'd be up there better. with us. I think he's the first character here, but yeah. So, uh, Kaya, you guys all know what Kaya does. Spear is good, Bow is good. Her Sigs are on every single, every single signature. All of them. Side sig on spear, and sig on spear, down sig on spear, down sig on bow, and sig on bow, side sig on bow. I I think this is the only character in the game where you can like genuinely go like, yo, you can use every single sig, and it's not even like you have to like think about it or anything. Like it's obvious when to use all of them. Like you can just use every single sig. Like even with Thea, like I'll say like, uh, no, it's Thea, it's Thea too. Uh, like Vrax maybe down sig on blasters, I guess. You use less, but there's a time to use it. But Kaya is like, you just playing every character, any, any sig you want at any time. You're just throwing them out. The down sig is free. The end sig is useful. Off reads, off interactions, off downlight. Like side air into end sig on bow. You just do whatever you want. Same with Artemis. Uh, Artemis spat sigs, let's think. Oh, surprise, surprise, none of them. Arguably, down sig on last is the worst one, and that's saying a lot because that sig is good. Orion, same boat, no bad sig except for Lance side sig, and even fucking Witty's mastered with using that, so can't be that bad, right? Alright, yeah. but yeah, that's SS, so that's why, these these are the top 5 characters. Okay. So we just finished S, uh, I don't think I want to put any more people in S, besides what we have now. Uh, the explanation for this is, like I said, Lucian is like, always winning tournaments, but it's all, it's only in the hands of Luna, and not but we also just see his like weaknesses like we see why like luna didn't win some events or some or like will lose to some people or like he'll have like really close games against impala uh when it even looks like he's winning more neutral interactions and stuff like that it's because the force is low uh and the kill options are somewhat obvious if you're not really really good at hitting the sigs which he is and that's why it's still like the top of s right like it's still like around here but when you put that away and ignore that, it's like he's not he's not as like brain dead and easy and uh, the six is just like set up in your kit. Like Orion is like Orion. Any character that has an option where it's like you do a combo and then you do that sig and it's just correct, even if it doesn't hit, that's just what you should do and there's multiple of them is broken. Like let's say you do sidelight nair on Orion, right? Down sig works after, side sig works after, end sig works after. You literally just pick which one you want to do. And they're all worth doing, even if they don't hit. Because uh, the threat is there. If, if they do hit, you're, you're just going to get a KO, right? Uh, and I don't, not many characters have that. Like, Caspian has that. That's why Caspian's is, like, still, like, S. Like, you can, even though his weapons aren't, like, disgusting, you can, like, set up for your Katar sigs, like, all the time with side sig and end sig, right? So characters that have setups into their sigs, like Orion, Orion has too many of them. Uh, Vrax has N-Sig all the time, like off downlight, off sidelight, off end light. That's really good. Lucian doesn't do that like too well. He has end light into N-Sig on Katars, but that's like his lowest four sig too. Like, that's to say that's not gonna KO all the time. But yeah, um, continue on. All these characters are basically characters that you can pick up to win the tournament, but none of them are just like this obviously easy and broken, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, these are all like 
These characters are very strong. These characters are very strong as well, but they're just not going to like compare to these ones, to be honest. But I think these are all good characters. These are all characters for the most part. I don't. I won't say that these. This is ordered. If I was to order this, it'd take a bit longer. But for the most part, what you're looking at here is a weapon or both that is like very high tier. Like I'd say, Wu Shang has one high tier weapon and spear, but not gauntlets. I think gauntlets are okay. But Wu Shang has the ability to replace that weakness of gauntlets with a very good sig kit on both weapons. Like he can do downlight and sig on gauntlets. He can do side sig on gauntlets. He can do down sig on gauntlets. They're all really good. Spear, same boat. His spear, not only is spear good, but his spear is like arguably the best one, no? Wu Shang? Yeah, it's like you can definitely argue yeah. Wu Shang. Like it's Wu Shang or there. Kaya. That's it. So Wu Shang just has to be here. Uh, Dusk is here because he has spear and the spear is good. The kid is this the spear kid is solid. It's not like bad. Uh and his the orb kid gets is okay. crazy. Yeah, it's like his orb kid is very good. The down sig, the side sig. Side sig is crazy because he's everywhere. Yeah. Like I would not it would not make sense for me to say like Petra is up here but Dusk is not here. I just don't think anyone ever will want to play the Dusk weapon com combination. Yes, yeah, just no one wants to play this. No one will ever want to play that. Uh but yeah, that's for the most part where I think uh this is that like these are characters to be fair these are these are the characters you see people play right so like when you're watching a tournament for ones at least these are the characters that you're seeing be picked uh for the most part like i i don't think i'm missing anything out here that people are like like taros i think taros is a really good counter pick that luna uses very well and he knows when to pick it so that's good but i won't say like yeah you lock in taros all the time so I think for the most part this is where I want our S tier to be. These are like the characters where it's like you, you, you these are the characters you're expecting to see in top eight. And if uh, if you see any of the other ones in top eight, it's like that guy has to like be playing like out of his mind, like cracked out. In my opinion, I don't think any of these characters are like that that simple to win with. Yeah. So to to explain why Roland would be worse than all the other axe characters, is that axe is a weapon you play in the air. And he's the only one that's slow with it. The ones, yeah. He's the only one that's like, you can actually hit him out the air because while he's in the air, he's slow. Like Queen Nai doesn't play in the air with her weapons. She plays on the ground. She uses her sigs. Like, I think I think she's up here, but she plays on the ground for the most part. Uh, Roland doesn't. He plays land, so he has to be jumping. He has to be in the air. Doesn't really make sense for him to have a lance with low speed. Doesn't feel good. I don't think there's any low speed lance other than him is there even low speed lance yeah like uh, uh, there's low speed lance there's like none uh, orion is not. orion is like what five five six six scarlet yeah, yeah scarlet's, the, like scarlet's the other bad character <laughs> yeah and it's when you have low speed with any character it's automatically going to be bad it's gonna be worse, but like if you can counteract it with like staying, because you can dash, and your your dash momentum is gonna oh, be the like speed. yeah, it's but yeah. If you but have for the to most be part, jumping, it's not gonna work out. And if you're off yeah. stage, it's not gonna work out. Stuff like that. Like like Lance has to be jumping. You have to be baiting in the air a lot. So being slow is bad. Yeah, uh, I mean you don't really see any yeah. high tier, low speed characters. Yeah, like, we spent the most time on this tier. Be, uh, this is probably the tier that's going to be the most ordered. Uh, like this, this is like, I won't say like this isn't ordered. I think this is like ordered fine. It's semi, semi, this is, com this is completely ordered. This is semi ordered. Honestly, yeah. So this is completely ordered. This is semi ordered. And this is like, we're working on ordering it right now. This is ordered, so when before we like go too in depth on A, uh, I'm gonna explain these two. These characters don't do anything. Uh, the Megar doesn't feel good to play. His six don't feel rewarding to hit. Uh, yeah, he doesn't die, but he he just does nothing. You're just not worried about fighting him. His great sword is like fine because his great sword, like if you get your read, it's like valuable, but it's not really anything special. Great sword is not that scary anyway in the first place. Mako, same thing. Um, this character just like the six just don't scare you. They're too punishable. They are too long. You'll just and it's a weapon combo that 
honestly, if you play smart, you just don't, like, waste your dodge. You'll never, like, get red super hard and, like, have something bad happen to you. Also, her six drop, that should be enough for you to, like, just not lock her in. Her six drop. Like, what? Find a character and your six are dropping. Uh, this character, low speed, axe, and then scythe is just, low like... Speed. Yeah, yeah. Like whatever. I mean, your scythe is, like, alright just because of side sig. Yeah, side sig. But it's, like, like solid as well, yeah, you have no... Far. You have Base. no damage or, or speed. You have no damage, you have no speed, your stats are like in the wrong places. Uh, even with the high force he has, I think he has high force, right? He has decently high force. Yeah, even it's with like that. It's like 6 or something, I don't know. His 6 don't even kill you that early. Like, the that's like like the trade-off. Actually, no, like, he, has, he has like no force. He has like no force, yeah. So his 6 Yeah, it, it's you. only dex and defense. What, what are they doing with this character? He just like lives and he has weapons that are, that are hard to find KOs with. And then you don't yeah. find the KOs, it's just annoying. Like it's like, anything. yeah, it's it's especially bad with Scythe, because if you have a low-speed Scythe, it's like, all the moves you do, off stage at least, if you don't have, like, if you don't have high speed, you can't take advantage of, like... Yeah, you can't get the moves. chase and the momentum to get the punish off, uh, and also just, like, on stage, like, yeah, with Scythe, another weapon, that I was mentioning, like, like Lance, you have to jump a lot with. Like, you you play in the air with Scythe, you base so you can get a spot dodge and then like, hit your dare, get your punish off. Uh, even when you hit on the ground, there's a reason every single Scythe weapon, I mean, every single Scythe move sends into the air. End light sends into the air. Down light, you pull it back to send into the air. Side light, if you do the forward kick up version, it's going to go in the air. So you play in the air on Scythe. So if you're not comfortable in the air because you have low speed, it's going to be annoying. Uh... But yeah, Isaiah as well. There's just nothing rewarding about the character. The Sigs are, like, annoying. I don't know. Boomy won with this character a long time ago, and I won't say they nerfed him. But even when he won, that character is, like... No, when he won... Wait, I don't know why I said that. When he won, Cannon was literally a different weapon. So, this would be enough for you. But since then, like, you just don't lock it in. It's just, like... It's... I, I, I wouldn't say the Sigs were good back then, either, besides, like, the Blasters and I think that Sig is solid, and then, like, everything else is just, like super average but the weapon combo combo also just doesn't feel that rewarding to play like stuff like that i think zol is like for example i would like i would probably put zol down here as well except zol has like cheese at least red raptors up here zol is like at least like semi cheesy like there's stuff you can get away with yeah like high damage his weapons yeah. are good for high damage his sigs like the down on cannon you can cheese with that off like off at edge and stuff and sig on axe like when you hit them they dot people die. Uh, these characters can't even say that much. So, for the most part, I think going forward on this, like if we we want to look at this, so yeah, this is ordered. I would say this is ordered. Red Raptor is very low, even though he's new, because I don't think his sigs are as broken as like Thea's and um. Tesca's was on release. I think he's just like he's like definitely the most honest of like the pairing to come out. The side stick is on boost is like pretty slow, and the only thing it has like going for it is like the surprise last hit, which you're just gonna remember. Otherwise, it's just like Val side stick. It's not like anything crazy. The Instig on boost has like an interesting hitbox, but it's still it's not it doesn't hit that much. It's not like disgusting. So I mean, all the Red Raptor I have experience against is like wrench. So he's like the only one playing the character anyway. Um, Ezio is too honest. He's like the definition of a mid tier character. Lin Fei is yeah. like, like I said, just any trade with her, you're probably just gonna come out on top. She has no force on either weapon, and they're low damage weapons that require you, like you have to get a read, or else it's automatically like you're losing. So. Uh, any interaction is bad. She also has to has to literally run at you the entire game to be getting any value out of the character. Um, going down, core is like solid. He has good sigs on both weapons. It's kind of a twitch out. I don't know. Reno. I think this is where we. I think Reno is like fine where he is. Like I, maybe Reno? like this. Yeah, Reno. Like maybe be like. I think he's like the same as Cross, basically same tier. Yeah, I can. See. There's nothing too crazy about the character. Yeah, it's like way worse Diana, like every sense of it, like like quite literally every sense of it. Like his sig kit, yeah, is just Diana's, yes. but way worse in every like way except the down sig on blasters. 
Yeah, it's like an app. Yeah, it's just it's like like the epitomes of average. I think uh, that Cassidy is better than all these characters. Rayman, like I said, is too cheesy. I think uh, Nash has spear, so he can't be this low. And his six are good. Probably like around Cassidy level because Lance overtakes both. I think Algrim is like the breaker here. Like after you get to Algrim. Yeah. Uh, it's like if you're not as good as Lance base. Yeah. If you're not if you're not base as good as like uh, if your character is both weapons plus all their sigs is not good as as good as just having one lance without any sigs and and your second weapon's axe and you have four speed no no you don't have four speed is like six right like you're he you is like nothing yeah he's like high speed yeah like if you if you don't have that at the minimum you have nothing so so like these are that character these are the, like you can just order it off that like and downline and sig cheese spear plus good sigs. Katars are solid, Axe is solid, the Sigs are like, okay, you can use them, but nothing like too scary. This character is not scary, this character is not scary in ones, this character is only good when Hammer is good. This character is cheesy, doesn't have anything going for it right now. Uh, Braza is like a hit or a miss, he's slow speed and you play guns in the air quite a bit. Like even if you don't attack in the air, you like you move, you use air movement to like position. Uh, Artemis, no Artemis is what, Yumiko, his character does nothing, basically. Thor, no threat at all, just like, okay, weapons, so yeah. What makes sure. Arcadia better than JN? The confirms, the confirms, plus she has spear, spear is better than sword, ever so slightly, that's it. Yeah. But yeah, so this was definitely the hardest tier to put in order, this one's not in too much order, like, after like, I would say like, after like, uh, more decks, it's just not in order at all, I'd say. So don't don't look at that too hard. I think someone asked a question about Sidra. I don't remember. Sidra just the best cannon. Yeah, Sidra's just the best cannon plus N Sig and Sword, all the Sig zones of the sword are good. There's a lot of cheese you can get away with and then there's a lot of stuff that's like not even cheesy, that's just how you play it. That's yeah. you know, the character. That's just stats are solid. Your tier list implies that Lance is better than Guitarist. Lance is the best weapon in the game. Alright, I think uh, I think it's good. I think this is our final tier list, at least for YouTube. Maybe I'll like, mess around with it off off YouTube, but I think this is good. So, this is accounting for the fact that Red Raptor is going to get nerfs in the patch preview, but it's not going to be substantial, so it's fine. And uh, yeah, I think uh, on that note, we're like good to end the YouTube part of it. If you have any questions i'll reply in the comments but yeah for the most part i think this is good lord vax is the best character mako is like the worst one these these characters are all like insanely broken these characters i think the characters the best way to think about this is the characters here need to be nerfed and the characters here are just really good i don't think that, like i wouldn't say these need nerfs but these characters need to be nerfed uh here you just have like characters that some of them could use buffs and some of them are just okay. But yeah, uh, it's good. I did this with May, so May tier. I'll link his Twitter in the description, so go check him out. He doesn't really post anything interesting, so. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>